What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the team. Fish Nichols YouTube channel. Sorry, last week I took a break. Um, I was kind of busy the week before, um, but now we're back with this week. And today we're going to cover two things. Uh, first, I won a cup um, two weeks ago, and then I also have a cup. Um, when this video, I'm recording this video on Friday. I have a video on I have a cup on Saturday. I might play the same deck again or not. I'm not sure just yet. Uh, I'll maybe throw it at the end of this video. Um, but we played Lugia. It's listed. I posted. I said you should play this Lugia for Worlds, and I won the tournament uh, with it. Uh, it was actually streamed some on the Gardens Twitch channel. I don't know exactly what it is. If I ever get around to it, maybe I'll just like record over it and like post it on a Saturday. It's not in Obsidian Flames format, so I don't think people care as much. But it's a win, and a win to win, and it re was recorded, and I can comment it over and post it on the channel if I want to. Um, so we lost. Uh, I'll go a quick, quick rundown of what happened at uh, uh, at the event and what I played against. Uh, so we played a Lugia, the single track Lugia deck I've been hyping up for a long, long time. A uh, deck is still really good. I think it's even great going to seventy of flames. I don't think much changes, and we'll look at that probably in tomorrow's video of why I think that. Uh, but round one, we hit Mr. Celio's network himself playing RC's Pikachu in turn two, he, or turn two or turn three. He gets the Pikachu out, and I can't attack it, and I just scoop because my Urshfu is prized. We do have an answer to his or Pikachu, EV Urshfu. Uh, round two, we play against Bax Calibur. Uh, we do beat that. Uh, I think it's like some Iona plays, and like 280 HP is a lot to deal with, and you can watch out the Chen Pao with your Lugius. That's pretty nice. Uh, round three... Well, I think I texted everybody what I played against. So hang on one second while I do that. Um, but yeah, um, <clears throat> so I gotta find it real quick. I think I did send it to my friends. I want to say that round three was maybe Lost Box, but now I'm starting to second guess myself, and I don't know exactly if I did or didn't. And I pretty probably should have been more, uh, you know, should have been probably a little bit better. So you know, not doing that. But it was so you know, it is what it is. Um, hang on. Hang on. My goodness. Uh, hang on. There's a lot of group chats here. A lot of group chats. A lot of group chatting going on in our little uh, subreddit and a little, little, little group. But I know for sure it was Lost Box. I know for sure. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting close. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, okay. Yeah. So it was uh, Arc Pika, then Chin Pal, then Lost Box Kyogre. We beat that. Uh, we only won because I think they miss, miss sequence at the end and they ducked out. Or they didn't have an answer or something. Uh, we then play against Urshfu. We beat that. I think it's a pretty good matchup for us. And then we play against a RCS like RCS Aerodactyl Volpix deck. Uh, then again, the turn to Aerodactyl. So then we were good to go. And then uh, we like boss with the Volpix and knocked it out. Couldn't remember Volpix did. And I just wanted to knock it out because I couldn't remember Volpix V, v started. I don't think it's a like, knockout for plus or something. I don't know. And then we, we won that game. Um, in the next round, we uh, we tied because there was six rounds. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we tied the sixth round. So I put me at four, one, and one. And then the top eight, we played against Val, uh, playing a Chin Pal deck. Uh, it was a very back and forth game. I lost game one, one game two, one game three. And, and uh, both first two games was like, I, I owned them and then like fingers crossed. And one game worked out, one game it didn't work out. And game number two, we played against Pat. Um, <clears throat> playing in Lost, uh, not Lost Box, sorry, uh, playing RCS Pikachu Giratina. Um, that was a pretty cool game. I think I could scoop game one pretty quickly because I couldn't get the path out or something in game two. We won that one in game three. Yeah, they, they got the, the Pikachu out and then I was able to get Urshu out and then Urshu knocked out the Pikachu from there. It was pretty good. I think game two, they also prized a bunch of V-Stars or uh, didn't get set up pretty easily. It didn't get set up, not pretty easily, but they didn't get set up. Um, so we beat that, and then the last round, I played against, um, Lost Fox Giratina, and I don't think they really ever got set up, uh, and, um, we won two games, uh, pretty quickly, so that was pretty cool, and then, so we won, and we won, we actually got two booster boxes, I, I don't know if that's normal, but we got two, uh, booster boxes of a City of Flames, I don't, I don't know exactly what we're gonna do with these, but we got two booster boxes of a City of Flames, uh, so that's cool, we're chilling, what is this doing here? There's, like, stuff down here, what's this, where did this come from? I don't know. There's stuff everywhere over here. I gotta clean up my floor. There's some. So I got two boost rocks of city flames. Um, cool. I don't know what we're gonna do with them just yet. I just might keep them. 
We already pulled the charge already. Watch the video, so that's good. Uh, but enough talking about me. Lugia, I think, is still broken. <coughs> we might play it tomorrow. I'm pretty lazy, so we might just play Lugia tomorrow. But let's stop talking about me and let's talk about the World Championship and see what happens. So if you don't know, if you don't know, uh, World Championship just happened on August 11th, almost two weeks ago. Uh, but first place is actually a Fusion Mew deck. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, it's like it's not the surprise deck. I mean, a lot of a lot of um, uh, there were some content creators who said this deck is very bad, and then they ended up playing it, and it was very confusing because um, they trashed it about, trash talked about it, and then they ended up playing it, which is pretty interesting. But uh, you know, it's a Fusion Mew deck. You know, Fusion Strike Mew. It's got Box of Disaster. It's pretty good spicy play here. You know, Box of Disaster. They you know they punch in the face, get knocked out. They put take a damage counters on it. And the math is probably there with UV Max and something. It's probably just like a like a Gardevoir counter or something, right? Um, yeah, maybe like right if like if Gardevoir powers their guy, punches your Mew for knockout, then like they just box the disaster get knocked out. So pretty interesting. A uh, lost city's good for you know <clears throat> it is good for lost box to lost their Pokemon, but like against like uh, Gardevoir, if you get lost city out, then you can like be in a good spot. Path of the Peak plus Iono. Cool combo. Chris Cave is good against like Kyogre decks and like decks that spread. If they don't know you play Chris Cave, you can jump off a Sunnet. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, we can look at Pokestats.live and we can see what Vance played against. Uh, so, and I think Vance actually helped play in D1 to get into day two. Uh, so day one beat uh, beat Lugia, beat Arsis Giratina, beat Fusion Mew, beat Fusion Mew. Uh, lost to Gudra, beat Mew, uh, lost to Arceus, a uh, lost box Arceus, then beat. Lost Box Kyogre, beat Lost Box Atina, beat Future Strike, Mr. Azul GG himself, and beat Tord in the finals playing Gardevoir. Uh, so that's pretty neat. Uh, second place, we have Gardevoir. We already spoiled the top eight, but uh, we have Gardevoir. Uh, the spicy thing about Tord's list is they did play a Mirage Step Curlia. And that Tord is the pioneer of Gardevoir, like all the ones that we've seen. Uh, some Mirage Step was pretty interesting to see. You know, the turn two Mirage Step, get three Curlies out. Then you have like one Roth on the bench as well, and then you got Rare Candy, that one or something. Playing three Rare Candy, being super aggressive, trying to get the knockoffs pretty quickly there. Uh, one Zashi V, still playing the four Seal Stone, two Reversal. I think most of us were playing one. And it's so interesting, because that's the Tour play two. I just heard people go, ah, you, yeah, yeah, two. It makes sense. It makes sense. Like, no, don't talk like that. Tord played two before you play two. Get out of here. Either let's play one or four. I'm pretty sure. Uh, and people are like, ah, no, it, it made sense. It's good. It's good. I, I thought about it myself. I know you didn't. Stop. Get out of here. Don't just don't take Tord's credit. Tord is like two reversal Tord in the Mirage deck. People are like, ah, yeah, it makes sense. I was thinking about it. No, you weren't. Get out of here. The refinement's good. Um, so yeah, get out of here. I, I, I despise that. I hate when people go, ah, no, that's that makes sense. It makes sense. It's good. It's good. I'm like, no, it doesn't make sense to you. It makes sense now because Tord won with it. Uh, but yeah, lost to, lost round one. How do we even the loser side? Uh, then beat uh, T Tar, beat a question mark, beat Maridon. Oh, beat Mr. Mahone. Uh, beat Urshvu, beat Palkia. Ooh, uh, pa Cyrus Palkia duck. Beat Lost Boss Kyogre. Lost. Oh, tied with the Zolves. Must tie to get top eight. Uh, beat the Mirror. Beat Lost Box Tina, and then unfortunately lose to Vance. Kelly played a. <sighs> Future Strike deck. So that's pretty cool. Congratulations, Tord. Tord almost had it. If Tord won, I don't know if that makes them better than Jason. That's a topic that I, I, I would like to discuss about with some people that, you know, some old people that know Jason versus, like, what he's done versus, like, what Tord's done. It's pretty interesting to talk about. It's, you know, it's a little bit more different. But speaking of people, you know, been around for the block, uh, Michael Pramwatt come out of, um, you know, nowhere... You know, you know they got their invite and fantastic, but here they go. Third place with Lost Box Tina. Congratulations, Pram. That's insane. Uh, Pram, I think it's probably the most decorated player in top eight. I know Tord probably has more ICs, but like Pram has way more like better world placements. I think is that fair enough to say? Maybe uh, more regionals wins. Maybe I don't know the count of Pram versus Tord. It's probably super close. But Pram has been playing for much longer than Tord has, so um, that that's a little bit different. Uh, but yeah, got the Giratina V Star three three. Um, what's spicy about this deck is Snorlax. Snorlax is good, probably against the Mirror. Uh, might get to get Cram Hit plus like Sableye can't ping it, so that's really cool. 
uh, you know, uh, playing 4-3-3. I did, like, some of the guaranteed list. I didn't play any water. I just played, like, one lot of water. That's pretty spicy to see. Play two paths week. One choice spell is interesting. It does make it where you can knock out a Mew. And that's essentially kind of like your Mew counter because, like, with this deck, you can just start Requiem and then a loss impact him, which is pretty neat. I do like that a lot. Uh, so it's kind of like your Mew Vmax kind of counter. That's pretty cool. I uh, got the Iono plus the Path Week. So no judge. Like, you're just like late game Iono, cross your fingers, because you don't play any um, Pal Pads. So you're like late game Iono is like where it's at. Okay, we're going to see Prams uh, play here. Uh, tied John Ng, then beat Lost Box Tina, beat Lost Box Kyogre, uh, beat uh, Urshvu VMAX, beat Guardi, beat Gudra, tied Advance. Now, this is probably intentional to make top eight. Uh, no, this is not top eight. This is just a random tie. Uh, beat Alex. Yeah, so I had to beat Alex to then make top eight to lose in top four to towards Guardi. And I haven't seen that game yet. Don't spoil it. I want to watch it one day um, to see how it played out. So I have no idea how that played out. Uh, so four and five are both Fusion Strike Mew. I'll we'll pull these up. Azul, play a Mew. Uh, play the Ice Q, and you get Snipe with the Ice Q. Play the two Feather Ball, which is pretty cool to see. Uh, one Iona, one Judge. No uh, Crystal Cave here, that advanced play. And we can see Azul lost to Gudra, tied toward, which <sighs> was on purpose, probably, most likely, right? Yeah, I've never seen the picture. I think they're like a table one, uh, since everything else they played against. Uh, so we're not going to cover too much about that. Uh, another um, another Mew player. Play the Ice Q Meloetta. Playing Cleansing Gloves, okay. Uh, two one on the state account. Echoing Horns, pretty sweet. Uh, I unfortunately don't know how to say their name. I apologize. It's on me. I don't. I don't know how to pronounce it. I did lose to Vance Kelly. Did lose to Azul. Um, but did beat Consta. So there they go. Only losses were to the Mirror. That's interesting. Sorry, sorry guys. Sorry, so sorry. Uh, let's go to the next one. So we got a Gardevoir player, okay. Gardevoir, let's see if we need anything spicy here. Uh, playing three different Rots, okay, okay. Playing Iona, Worker, Penny, ooh. Sinnoh, Collapse, Artisan, so three stadiums, three different Rots. Uh, what did they play against what they lose? So lost to Lost Box Kyogre, uh, tied Ox Box Dragonite, and then beat a bunch of different players. And the loss of Tord in top eight. Yes, top eight. Top eight. So playing the mirror in top eight. Very interesting. Uh, so we don't have the list for seventh or eighth. Uh, it is a lost zone box and a lost zone Giratina. We can kind of look at those, just see what they played against. Uh, lost against Fusion Strike, lost of Tord, and lost to Pram. So losing to some fantastic players. So, so you know, you take those when you can. Um, then in this bracket, we lost to Shosh Shoshi. Sayato? I don't know how to say their name. I know they're fantastic, and I'm, I apologize. Uh, lost the Lost Bucks. Yeah. And I lost the Vance Kelly, the winner. Not too bad. Um, so let's look up next. Sire's playing probably the most interesting deck, um, for sure. Lost to Tord and lost to Grant playing Tyranitar. But, or Lugia Tyranitar. But beat Chimpal, beat Lost Bucks Dragonite. Beat Maridon, beat Fusion Mew, lost to Tord, beat um, Arceus Giratina, and beat Maridon. Sajin Park, fantastic player. Um, we can open this up real quick, and there we go. Uh, there's their list. Now, they actually played this in, from, in day one as well. I don't have their pairings, but, you know, it's a pretty cool entry deck. It's just, you know, Dialga, or uh, Origin from Palkia, sorry, not Dialga. And you just, like, you just swing. You just swing with subspace swell. You got the cross switchers. You got the um, Irita, so you can search anything out. The Iron of the Punish to Melanie. Jim Howe can pick up big knockouts. Um, there was an Articuno, but I think day one was canceling Cologne. Spear Tomb is in there, for, obviously, for the Mew matchup, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's a pretty interesting deck. If I were to play tomorrow, this is actually a deck I might want to play uh, just for the fun to see how it goes because um, it looks a lot of fun, and they. You know, they took down a pretty wide variety. I know the Guardi matchup is interesting. And the Lugia matchup, I, I think it might be the hardest matchup. Um, 
but maybe not. Uh, they don't have a, like a ton, a ton of bench, and like it has two eighty HP, so it's a lot. So I think that's the big problem there. But outside of that, looks I love the list. Um, and then let's see what else we got this week. Uh, we have Alex Shemansky actually actually went with it. Uh, went with Urshifu and Tillion. Uh, so let's see here. Lost was to Pram in the tie two. So actually, Alex only lost to Pram. Beat everything else pretty much. Um, so yeah, there's their list. I'm not even gonna try to like talk about this because I have no idea like how this deck works. Um, I know this cool card is pretty cool. Um, I guess especially because like Fusion Me, you can like discard Special Energy, which is like pretty nice. <sighs> yeah, it's a pretty cool deck. I I think I like it. I like it. I like it for sure. So, uh, we'll see. There is the highest place Lugia Archaeops deck. It makes me happy to see Lugia and play the Urshifu. Uh, the only interesting thing is I still don't know how I feel about Jet Energy. I don't like Jet Energy too much. Like, my list is pretty much this. I'll tell you the difference right now. It's like cut two Jet, add two Gift. Uh, cut a Radiant Serena for a Collapse Stadium. Or cut Paku for a Collapse Stadium. Cut Radiant Serena for like a Thornton, uh, cut Squawkabilly for Iono, cut Serena. Oh man, there's another card. I'm just not thinking of right now. Hmm. Anyway, that's that's pretty much it. I just can't remember. Where, I'm one card different. I can't remember exactly. Uh, my brain can't remember exactly what one cards that are different. I don't play these three. I play a second collapse. I play a third Iono. Ah! I play four gift, no jet. So there's one card I'm missing. I just don't know what exactly it is on top of my head. Oh, it's Thornton. But that's that three. One, two, three, four. There's four that already change, and then it's one, two, three. So yeah, we're missing one card. I just don't know what it is on top of my head, unfortunately. I don't know. Bershvi's broken. Player Shvi, it's good. It's good. What do they lose against? Let's see here. Tied Alex. I think it's a pretty good matchup. Tied uh, Guardi, pretty itchy matchup. And then lost to Lost by Skyler. It is actually a, a hard matchup that do get set up. Beat the colorless one. And beat two of the mirror. So there we go. Uh, anything else interesting at the top that we really want to talk about? Uh, Mahone did play an interesting Moridon deck. Open this as an image real quick. Um, it's a path to the peak, Maridon. Uh, yeah. I know Mahone made it through day one with this deck. Uh, lost to uh, Fusion Mew, lost to Tord, tied a Fusion Mew. So, I just don't understand it. It's my issue. Um, not to say anything is bad or or battle the deck. I just don't understand. I just don't. I just don't know. 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 I have to test it out. I guess like you're just like early game right on electric generator set up Pokemon path to the peak plus Iona plus Judge and like that's what you're doing, right? I think that's what the game plan is. Like because Reiku swings for a lot of damage because a bunch of bench, bench Pokemon. Right, you just cleans up because the dynamic spark. It kind of reminds me of the Palkia deck we just talked about, um, but except the Palkia deck doesn't play uh, Path to Peak, it focuses on Lost City instead of Path to the Peak. It's kind of reminds me of the same thing. Um, yeah, congratulations, Mahone. Another, what, top 32 placement? Very cool to see. Um, Daichi played a Lugia Archops, so let's go. I'm trying to see if there's anything else interesting. No, that's that's everything that's pretty interesting. Uh, so we don't have all the decks. Obviously, we don't have all the decks, but. Imagine once we have them all, they'll be updated. Uh, just keep your eyes on Pokestats.live. Keep your eyes on some of the Limitless. And throughout the season, check these both websites out. They're fantastic people. But yeah, just want to give a quick update. Um, I know it's kind of random Monday. Me talking about a cup win. And then, like I said, give me like two seconds. And we should have a clip, hopefully here. Hopefully a clip of me talking about another cup. So give me a second and we'll talk about that. All right, so quick update. Um, we talked about how I was going to play a cup this Saturday. And um, we uh, got the win with the same list uh, that we played last week. So the video has, this list now has two cups, back-to-back -back wins. 
Um, round one, play against Lugia. I missed a turn two Lugia, so I scooped against a Lugia Mirror. Round two, we played a Arceus Darkrai deck and got the win there. Round three, we played against a Gordivore deck. Um, round four was... Round four was actually an Arceus Aerodactyl deck. They got the turn two Aerodactyl, and I was still able to deck them out because they attacked with Aerodactyl, lost on two of their double turbos, and when that happened, I was like, yep, we're just going to boss Umbreon and just go that way, and we did. Um, so then round five, we tied, so it was 3-1-1. My resistance was two players at 3 one one two players at uh, three, and three players at 3-2, so I was feeling pretty confident. Uh, top eight, we hit Lost Box. Uh, Game one, we just got the turn two. We got the turn one or turn two Lugia with one Archaeops, and we were able to still win that one. I uh, game two, I went kind of risky, and I had Lugia in a V guard, and I just like pass, and they turn two Riku me. Um, but even the full bench, that's not enough for knockouts to ten. And then I evolved to the Lugia V star, Sycamore, discard two Archaeops, switched into like a Tyranitar. Took a knockout and attached a V guard on it, so like they can't get knocked out next turn. So we won that matchup. Uh, top four was against Mew. Uh, Evotol was really good in that matchup. You get Thornton out, Evotol back out. Tranitar is really good. Tranitar with a V guard is really good. I remember they got like the turn one, maybe turn two path to the peak, and I didn't have it, but. I just like Lugia, draw some cards, whatever that, that card, discard, draw three. This one read the win. And um, they didn't have anything, so they just like swung and didn't do enough damage. And then I think we evolved and started going crazy. So we beat top four. Uh, and then game two, they just like, they I mulliganed three times. And when I mulliganed three times, they just had like, really bad cards. Uh, supposedly it's just a bunch of Pokemon, uh, but not Genesect. It was all Mew and stuff like that, and so we won that one pretty quickly. Uh, so both players, both were 2-0, uh, top 8, top 4, and the finals opponent said that he want to go eat dinner and gave me the win. So, yeah, now we're uh, we're at 152 points. Uh, the deck's really good. I think it still has good, I think it's still good going into the next set. Uh, this thing, one shot Charizard, pretty nice. Um, so I think that's still scary. I think the meta's still gonna stay, stay somewhat the same. I, I can't see it sh shifting that much. It's just Arceus Charizard's now deck, and that's fine, because you play Tyranitar, that one shot Arceus, and then you have Arceus VMAX, well, that one shot the Charizard. And then you also could just like boss around it, because they're gonna have more Pokemon on the bench than just Charizard. If they don't, that's crazy, because then you just knock out the Charizard, and then you just win. So that's nice. Urshifu, you can also like knock out like Urshifu V Max can like beat down, knock out Arceus, and then like you can go into the G Max one blow. Uh, one card I'm thinking about adding, which I never thought I would, is maybe a Super Rod eventually. Uh, we still keep the Thornton here for the surprise place because Thornton just like out of nowhere is like always really good. Uh, but the Super Rod might be somewhat good to get back the V Max if you discard her early. That's the only reason I can see it. Um, just because if Charizard is as big as it is online, then that might become a problem. But we'll see. Um, and then also you can just, like, cheese the deck and, like, turn to Lugia and knock out Arceus. And then they don't have anything. And then you just win from there. So that's really nice. Uh, another deck that I'm really excited to test is Chin Pao Pidgeot. Seems really good. Uh, there's actually another card next Saturday that we'll be going to. And we'll test either this deck. This is straight 60. I don't think anything changes with the new format. Uh, with the Sydney Flames. Or... Shin Pal Pidgeot. We'll see. Um, I got seven days to test. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, so we won this one today. And then we have two more booster boxes that we got from the other weekend. So we're just going three a City Flames box. There we go. So that's what the deck got me. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching World Recap. Blue Givy Star, two cups, plus worlds. And then uh, we'll see everybody tomorrow when we cover. Charizard finally, probably. All right.